In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model irregular walls in Revit architecture. For the vast majority of the time the walls we want to create are in fact straight and parallel but there may be times for example with an historic building where we need to model walls which taper or are generally irregular in their plan form. On the screen here I've got an irregular wall that I've already created um, just done that at random, it's not to any specific dimensions but this is what we're going to create in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we build that up from scratch. I would qualify by saying that the tool I'm going to use to do this is only available in the full version of Revit so if any of you are using Revit Architecture LT unfortunately the model in place tool is not available it's only available in the full version First of all I'm going to switch to a plan view and there is our piece of wall. So let's go ahead and create another irregular wall down here and look at how we, we do that. So we go to component and as I've just pointed out in the full version of Revit you will have an option to model in place as well as place a component in Revit LT you will only have that place a component so that's for putting in uh, your predefined standalone families you see examples there in the little drop down but in the full version of Revit you have the ability to model using extrusion sweeps void forms um, revolves etc to create custom forms in your project so I'm going to hit model in place Revit then asks you what category you want this object to be associated with. I'm going to choose walls. Why it needs to know that is um, for multiple reasons really. Um, the visibility settings, if this object that we create is associated with walls category, when you go and customize your views and turn walls off, not only will your system family, i.e. Your, your, your standard Revit walls, be turned off, but also these objects will disappear as well in, in any particular view. Um, also, if we associate this object with the walls category, objects like doors uh, and windows can be inserted into it, and I'll show you that before the end of the tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and select walls as the category. It asks me for a name. Walls 2 is suggested. Um, walls 1 would have come up, but that was already used when I created the first uh, example there. So I'll just stick with Walls 2 for now. Hit OK. Revit goes into what we call sketch mode. We can always tell when Revit's in sketch mode by the presence of the green tick and the red cross. So look out for that when you're creating other elements such as floors, roofs and ceilings. Uh, so the green tick and the red cross indicate sketch mode. And here are the variety of tools that we can use to create our wall forms, so extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep. In separate tutorials I'll go through each of these um, modelling tools in turn and we'll look at those in detail. But for now I'm just going to use a simple extrusion to create our wall. Again, sketch mode is activated and Revit is now expecting us to literally sketch out the profile in plan of our wall. If we look up here on the ribbon, the draw panel, I've got a variety of different methods of sketching out that perimeter. I'm going to stick with the single line element. You can see on the options bar here, just above my cursor, I've got chain turned on, that's allowing me to keep placing these bits of sketch lines without having to go back and select draw each time. So I'm just going to go around, you can see I'm doing this in a random fashion and we'll go and tidy that up. So we've got our closed loop for our extrusion We've got a depth there, we can adjust that after. 
we can also adjust it on here the extrusion start and extrusion end this is relative to the work plane so for level 0 this would be whatever level 0 is set at in your model go ahead and hit the green tick that forms the extrusion so we're out of that that um, nested layer of, of sketch mode and we're back up in the original uh, model in place component sketch mode now if I'm happy with that I can go ahead and hit finish model and if I switch to 3d there is our new irregular wall if I select it I've got a separate grip for each of the faces so I can dynamically adjust it as I need to I'll just delete the original irregular wall behind make it easier to see and there we have our irregular wall go back into a plan view because we told Revit it is a wall if I go and select a door and a window Let me have a look in 3D you will see that we can insert those objects into the wall Many more tutorials and articles on Autodesk Revit architecture can be found at bimscape.com. Once at the home page, just navigate to Articles, Autodesk Revit.